we go, heading out of the marina. This took me an hour or more to untie all the lines on this thing and get the sails ready to put up. But yeah, it's gonna be worth it, right? Hello everybody, I'm Captain Danny. Welcome to the Back Porch Fishing Show. Today we're going to be sailing a little bit. We're going to go fishing off of a yacht. Then we're going to do some late night zombie catfishing. Come on, let's go. This one looks pretty nice. Looks like a steel hull. Two-masted jobby. Yeah, that's nice. So, we're moving along. Headed out to sea. Arrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
get upstairs there. This is gonna be great. People start eating them at, at that size. <laughs> I don't touch them either, they're slimy. Dude. That thing hit, hit like a sack of Marines hitting the beach. Whoa! What we got? Big old white Martana cat. That looks like a channel. Yeah. Nice! A piece of bread the size of your thumb, Neil. <laughs> Fishing on the 55 foot sea ray. Joe's gonna go down after him. Get him, Joe. Well, he's still putting up a whopping fight. <laughs> oh well. So fish on. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Smoking. I'm gonna reel mine up. It's okay. Smoking that drag. Always get other rods out of the way if you got a big fish on them. Captain Joe says so. Oh. I'm gonna go ahead and get my. See how I have my glove set up right here. Uh -huh. One-handed operation, man. I don't want to bring him in here too green. He said, "Oh, I got you." Way. Yeah, no worries, man. Do how you do. How you do. No, no. I mean, I, he's doing that on his own. Let's see if I let him go. Let him go. Let's see if I can get, get this He's right there. Don't horse him too much. You got those tiny hooks. Pieces of bread this big. Intended for bluegill. Man, I ain't no telling how big this thing is. I'm gonna say he's over 
eight pounds. <laughs> he could be a ten or better. How close is he to coming up? I haven't even seen a swirl on top of the water, Jeff. Steady pulling line. Look at him go. I know. Man. This, that dragon is not out. super loose. I mean, it's... He's all the way back out there again. That fish. Oh, yeah, the fish is Yeah. I'm not getting nothing on him. He's just using his weight now to bully the rod mm -hmm. and the line and the current. Every time he gets within about... Three feet of the surface, it surges and goes back down. There he is. Oh, that boil from him. There he is. Mm. <laughs> I bet he goes seven, eight pounds, nine maybe. It's a long way down, too. We're still like 10 feet away. You know, it's yeah, man. Jed's gonna take it. Got enough fight in him for two people. <laughs> There's the disadvantage of fishing with two hooks. What do you think, weight-wise? Oh, I'm going to get this hook out of my finger. There we go. I think it's, uh, I bet seven, eight pounds. That's a nice fish. That's a nice eagle, Yeah. Well, he fought like a dickens on that little bluegill rod. Impressive. Bigger boat, bigger fish. <laughs> so long, Chissy. Whatever the Spanish word is. Putting up some tail weight. There he is. That'd be a little kitty cat. Hang on. Got though. Channel cat tool. He's easy to get off to. Yeah, just barely oh, hook, sure. hook in a lip. There you go. That's it. Easy peasy. All right, it's time for zombie catfishing part two. Let's see this planer bobber glowing up. Yeah, they glow in the dark. Makes them nice to fish with at night. Yeah, once again, we got the garlic enhanced cut bluegill. Oh no, wait, this is garlic enhanced. Yeah garlic enhanced and then we got regular let's get the garlic out there first put the garlic on the pin rod here I don't want to touch it so I, I use pliers <laughs> plus you never know I mean 
I suppose that catfish can smell humans. <laughs> they say, nope, don't want that. There. Alright. So, you work this like a slip bobber. That's the cool thing about uh, these. This is old blame here. I've had this for five years. This is one that couldn't be sold because it was just yeah, kind of crappy on the top there. Let's make it glow here, huh? Glow, baby, glow. Don't take much. Just a little bit of light there. And I'm going to set this up in the first hole. So it doesn't plane off. It just works as a slip bobber. And it's a glowing, so... Off we go. Castable. Wonderful. Planers. Oh, I love that clicker noise. <laughs> Alright, so. Now we got one out. This one. Ready to. This one's gonna have regular unenhanced cut bluegill again I bait up with pliers I don't like to get too fishy and I don't want to get to my smell on them there once again here we go I'm gonna set this one down about seven eight feet Put this in the first hole here. Just using them as a slip bobber. And I cast it right out there. Alright. We're fishing. Nighttime's always the best time. What happens, eh? Whoa, -ho. fish on. Yeah, garlic strikes again. Eh, he doesn't seem very big, but let's have a look. Hmm. Tail cat. Oops. Got him on garlic enhanced. That's two to one. Yeah. Puny little guy. But still champ cat. Good eating size. Clean. Alright, circle hook. Out you go. Contact. Bye bye. Well, there you got it. <laughs> Garlic. Two to one. Just bait up with another one. I always leave the skin on these. Bluegill fillets. If you don't, it'll just come right off. Alright. Let's put this one back out there. Garlic's winning. Two to nothing. One at about seven or eight feet down. Once again, we're going to put it in the front hole. Always order the three way. It works as a planer and a slip bobber. Can't beat that. And out you go. Let's 
set the clicker. Uh -huh. Alright, catfishing at night. Planter bobbers. Bluegills. That's the raceway you hear. <laughs> the race cars over there tonight. It's a Saturday night. There you have it. Some planter bobbers kick butt. Get those at planerbobber.com or bitofsense.com. Alright, straight up bluegills got one here. Whoa. Oh, crap, it's got the other one tangled up in it too. They don't seem too awful big. Got both my planers tangled up. Ooh, come on up, baby. Don't bust that rod. Mm. He's a little bigger. What a mess there. Two planers tangled up. Oh. He's a little bigger, though. Oh, he made a mess. I should have got to that quicker. Hmm. Well, come here, you. fatter than the other one but probably go five pounds what do you think huh all right well it's one to two bye bye fishy hey i'm just clapping because it's over <laughs> well that's our show everybody thanks for watching the back porch fishing show you can find us on YouTube.